they don't like you, dude. You're asleep. That's the problem. You're freaking asleep. Everybody else is good. You're the one that needs to change. They banished me, never to be seen. To a place where the air is always gonna scream. So hot that the land only grows weak. Wife, I'm, I'm sure she's been waiting to spend more time with you. This is the opportunity, and we're gonna seize the moment, and we're not gonna let this pass. My name is Andy Elliott. We're gonna make this happen. Your life changes forever, starting now. They don't give a sh about the floor plan. Hey, they don't like the floor plan, boss. They don't like you, dude. You're asleep. That's the problem. You're freaking asleep. That's the issue, man. You think you're in sales? No, your job is to help people get the courage to say yes to a dream and a memory they've been putting off. Everybody looks at money like, oh man, I don't know if I should spend it. And then they go blow it in the mall, okay? Listen guys, people need some direction. Who are they gonna get it from? Us. Now there is a whole new level in which I will teach you guys to sell, influence, persuade, close, negotiate, master a stranger. Dude, I'm gonna teach your team to be the best in the world. But can I ask you a question? Are the leaders ready to grow? Because if the leaders don't grow, the team damn sure ain't gonna grow. Everything starts at the top. Jason, if I wanna kill a snake, I cut its head off. I'm asking right. a question. Is the snake's head cut off in this company? Or is the leaders ready to grow? Because if the leaders are ready to grow, and what Jason told me, this is what Jason told me. He goes, Andy, we've got the best leadership team in the world. I've got the best sales team in the world. We've got the best company. we got the best product, but we're freaking stuck. You know what? We're going to get unstuck right now on this call. And what we're going to do is we're going to look in the freaking mirror. The leaders are. We're going to look in the mirror, and we're going to become what our team, our team needs to become. We're going to say what our team needs to think. We're going to have the energy and the attitude that our team needs to have. That's what we're going to do. And by the way, we can't ask them to do it if we're not willing to do it. Everybody write down a word coachable. This is the number one reason why leaders don't make it is because you want your team to be coachable and grow, but you don't grow. Now listen, I'm going to tell you a reason why people don't grow. Number one, they don't know how. Like, like I want to change, but I don't know how. You know how? Number one, wake up, get intense, get passionate, become alive. How about that? How about whatever we do, we do it all the way. How about, you know what? How about we become visionaries and we envision the turnaround of this company starting now? How about we envision being overcomers? And the story we can tell when you say, dude, listen, man, we were a couple months away from sinking ship. We turned that shit around as a team. Damn, it felt good. You guys want to get closer than ever? I'm going to tell you how. Write this word down, suffer. You're going to suffer together. Every one of you right now, stop blaming it on one another. It's Garrett. Garrett runs that place. Ah, oh, it's Vicky. Vicky didn't do the paperwork right. Ben. Ben's on. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Are you going to come together or not? Hey, guys. We'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you want to level up in life and business, then one thing you got to do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor, Hostage Tape, is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With Hostage Tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila! Several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. If you don't come together, an individual can be beat, but a fucking team can't be beat. You guys want to win? You're going to have to come together as a team. It's the only way. If you don't come together as a team, you're screwed. Every one of you, go get ready for your next interview. Go get ready because that's what's coming. Or you can write a different story. We had an, you know what I call the epiphany bridge? It's called the aha moment. Aha. I know exactly where we've been going wrong. You know what it is? It starts with the leaders. It starts with the, I always say, who's in charge? Anytime somebody tell me the business isn't doing what it should do, I say, stop, 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 stop. They say, well, I don't have the right people. I don't, shut, shut. I don't have the right inventory. I, sh the market, the interest rates, shut up. Who's in charge? And they say, oh, I am. Oh, oh, 
Well, I can tell you're in charge because you're the person telling me the interest rates are too high. You're the person telling me the RV freaking industry isn't what it used to be. You're the person telling me that you don't have the right people. You're the freaking problem, dude. Everybody else is good. You're the one that needs to change. The reason why they're doing what they're doing is because they're doing it because of you. Now, this is why we can't have any pride, entitlement, or any ego. We gotta flush this crap, dude. It's the death of you. Now, this book in Extreme Ownership, they took Boat Crew 1, that's won every race, and they took Boat Crew 5, that was the last place boat every time. The whiner, the complainer boat. This was the badass boat. And, the, and, and, the, and uh, it was Jocko Willings in his book, he wrote, we decided to switch Boat Crew 1 leader with Boat Crew 5. And just they just, out of nowhere, Boat Crew 1, go to 5, leader, 5, go to 1. Dude, like immediately, Jason, Dakota, listen to me. They took this number five leader that had, had been finished last, this guy, and they put him in boat one that had won every freaking race. They took number one, badass, and they put him in boat crew five that has lost every race. Boat crew one leader, first thing he does is says, guys, everything starts from today forward. Vicky, yesterday's gone. I know this, this next race, we're gonna win it. I am going to tell you with the delusional belief that every one of you are qualified to win this race. Nobody has the heart as you guys. Nobody loves a story that's amazing all the way through. They like an overcomer. They wanna see the comeback. You guys are gonna tell your kids that they're capable of doing anything and overcoming anything, and they're gonna believe it because you did it. You're not gonna be a fraud. This next race, we're gonna win. And we're gonna do it together and we're literally gonna suffer together and it's gonna bring us close and we're gonna become unstoppable and we're gonna create a new empire. This is a new boat, this is a new race, this is a new day, this is a new start. And he had a perspective in which he gave and, and let them borrow that had been losing. He took a dying spirit and made it alive. And to, in, to inspire somebody is to be done with the spirit. And this boat crew one leader that went to five crushed it. They won first place the next race. Crazy thing is boat crew one that's won all the races, once they switched the leaders, they took last place. What does that tell us all? What we already knew. You guys already knew what I was gonna say. The leader. The leader's perspective will ultimately decide where the, the ship goes. If you believe inside that it's over, it is over. We're done. If you believe inside it is day one, I want everybody to do me a favor, write down this word perspective, and then I want you to do this. If you are coachable, some of you, I don't mean to say this negatively, but you're not gonna change. And please prove me wrong. Please prove everybody that has never seen you grow, see that you actually do give a shit, and you, and you actually do care. You're going to grow. What I want you guys to do is I want you to understand this, and this is important. I need you to understand, and I'm gonna give you an analogy. So Vicki, I, I saw a couple the other day, they're good friends of ours, they're going to marriage counseling. And I said, dude, you don't need to even do that. I can tell you what to, how to fix your problem right now. I said, if you treated her like it was the beginning, there would never be an end. If he sure. treated you like it was the beginning or, and you treated him, there would never be an end. Let's go back to day one. You just interviewed for this job and you said, hey, let me tell you what I'm good at. I'm really good at you know financing. I'm really good at like getting stuff approved that normally can't get approved. I'm really good at like inspiring my team. I'm good at leading. You right? I'm good at inventory management. Right? I'm good at phones. Um, I'm gonna tell you like if I was to get this job right now, if my guys are on the phones, I'd be on the phones with them. <laughs> no, I said I'd be on the phones with them. It means I'd be on the front line. I wouldn't be in my office saying, "Hey guys." How many appointments we got? I'd be on the phone setting appointments with them, saying, hey guys, we're gonna make a lot of appointments today. Matter of fact, they don't work for you, you work for them. As soon as you start to understand that it is a privilege to be a leader, that dude, listen to me, why don't you guys be the leader that we didn't have growing up? Why don't you be the manager that we didn't have? You know what I've learned? I'm gonna give you a secret. I've learned what I didn't have as a kid, I wanna give everybody else as an adult. As a kid, I didn't have any love. I didn't have shit. My mom left when I was two, I had nothing. My dad, Jerry Springer show. Raised poor, same two pair of clothes, embarrassed, betrayal. I felt betrayal as my whole life growing up. 18 years old, I got a job in the car business. Made $1,700 my first day. 
got lucky. I couldn't believe it. How does a guy like me get an opportunity to get in sales? Zero barrier of entry, bad grades, stuttered, didn't know how to talk, and I got a fucking job in a car lot? They hired anybody that breathed. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. But I got lucky and I knew when I made that $1,700 commission, I knew that I was going to be obsessed with self-development every day for the rest of my life until I died. I made 120 grand at 18, I made 220 at 19, I, I hit 500,000 at 20 years old. I was a loser, I was, I'm not, I was a loser. I had a, I had a minimum wage mindset and then I built a nine figure mindset. I didn't know how to speak, talk, articulate my words, I stuttered and I beat all that shit because I studied every day. I just pray that you guys understand that you guys are in charge of whether your people get paid or they don't. And you say, well, what about me? Stop it. A real leader literally loses his own self-interest for his team. And in return, the team notices it and they do things that are unheard of and unimaginable for the leader. Everybody, please listen to me. I don't care if you're in an RV store. I don't care if you're the president of the United States. Whatever you do, you can do it all the way from now on. I want you to do me a favor. After this call, listen to me. And I'm, and I'm grateful to spend time with you guys. And conversations don't need to be long. I want you to reignite and light a new fire in your heart, not in your ass. I know you guys know how to work hard. The question is, do you know how to lead with your heart? I give to people what I didn't have as a kid. I give them love. I give them loyalty. I trust first. Dude, when people burn me, honestly, I'm, 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 you would think I'd get angry and have betrayal. That's my common, that's what I want to feel. But honestly, I give people a little bit of slack because I fuck up all the time. And I know people are too. And all I want to do is treat them the same way that I'd want to be treated. And I want you to understand something. You guys want to sell a shitload of RVs and sell everything you got? Well, it's simple. Become the leader. Become a person that they would follow until death. Build an unrecruitable team. Build a team that doesn't work for compensation. This is a new one. Build a team that works for recognition, that works for love, and they work for the leader. You know why? They'll give you everything they got, blood, sweat, and tears. They'll give you a better attitude. They'll give you more energy. They'll go out and close deals they didn't believe they could close before, all because someone believed in them. I met my wife when I was 24 years old, and she believed in me. It was the first time I had ever felt anyone believe in me in my life. And I want to tell you guys something. I think a lot of your people right now, they're looking for someone to believe in them. And when things get hard and when, and when they get down, they look to you, but they don't see the leader. They see a boss. So they go to Instagram, they go to TikTok, they go to YouTube, they go anywhere to try to find somebody when it really should be right in front of them that it should be you. Okay. I always say this. If I asked everybody in your company to come into a room and I gave them a piece of paper and I said, write down the name of your mentor, fold it in half, walk out. My question is, would your name be on those papers? If the answer is no, we're going to change that now. What's in it for you? I'm going to tell you this. I don't know if any of you are married, have husbands, wives, or families, but your families want to see you go to work and come home fulfilled. Your fucking wife doesn't want to see you come home, be a piece of shit complaining. You bring home fucking that sack of shit to her. No wonder she doesn't support you. I want you guys to man up, Vicky, to woman up. You know what I mean? You know what that means? That means to, to, to give it all you got. You wanna make your family proud? You wanna make your children proud? You wanna look in the mirror and like who you see? Hey, and for those of you, there will be somebody when we get off the call, you know what they'll say? Ah, f that guy. I know, that's your problem, fire them first. Have the courage to stand up for, you guys, for what you guys believe in. Have the courage to understand that this is fucking America. I cannot believe that we can create, entrepreneurship is to create. We can create whatever we want. So you know what we're gonna create? We're gonna create that it's day one. If you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Day one, man, you just got the job. Garrett, we just hired you. I just introduced you to the team. It's day one. What does that mean? 
That means here's what I want you to do today. I want you to be where your feet are, Garrett. You know what that means? Today, you're not gonna be on your phone. Today, you're not gonna be anywhere except totally, total immersion and obsessed with your team today. You're gonna be calling leads. You're gonna be calling back customers. You're gonna be getting shit clean. Guys, listen to me, sales fixes all of our problems. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna rally our team. And, and, and you know what I want you to do? I want you to apologize to them. I want you to say, guys, I've let you down and I apologize. I want every one of you to know that I haven't been being the leader that I'm capable of being. And I know that. And honestly, it disappoints me, but you know what I know? I know I'm a badass and I fight. So I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna change. And when I change, everything changes and I'm gonna prove to you guys that this company is the best company in the world to work for. I'm gonna give you guys more. I wanna create a family with you guys. I wanna create loyalty with you guys. And I wanna sell every mother an RV we got out here today and we're going to refuse to let a client leave starting from this point forward this is Alcatraz no one escapes period if somebody comes on the lot they're buying if somebody calls they're buying but I want to tell you guys this number one my name's Andy Alley I love you guys does everybody like how I'm talking like are we in agreement? like this is this is it if anybody doesn't like this it's totally cool okay because Walmart is hiring Okay, and you can go down there and they don't hold you to any standard. There's no standards there. We're gonna raise our standards. We're gonna be overcomers. We're gonna freaking kick ass. Today's gonna be the biggest day the company's ever seen in the last six months. Tomorrow's gonna be even a bigger day. And then I will see you guys on Monday. I'm gonna talk to your team. You guys are gonna get the sales training. We're gonna set up another call next week so we can be close. And I'm gonna help you guys with whatever you want and we're all gonna recreate, we're all gonna change, and we're gonna pull this shit out, we're gonna make a ton of money, we're gonna suffer together, we're gonna be a freaking team, and we're gonna win. And you guys are all gonna be a resource to each other, I'm gonna be a resource to you, and together we can't lose, okay? All right, guys. Let's go! Let's go. See you guys soon. Let's go kill it. Come on, baby, let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.